what is going on guys your boy is back again with another one on this amazing monday and right off the bat you know how it is i got some news to report to y'all real quick let me just pull pull out the community post on my channel i played uh i played <laughs> i made a poll uh, a few days ago asking you guys what do you guys want me to play and by the time I already gave away the spoilers and the thumbnail, but let me just show you this real quick. Yeah, I said, which game should I play next? So it came down between Bandy and the Dark Revival. Since I finished playing Bandy and the Ink Machine, finished it, absolutely loved it. As well as Hello Neighbor on a Monday. So for more context, I finished Hello Neighbor, the first one on Monday. And then Thursday of last week, I finished Bandy and the Ink Machine. So it was like a great week. Because again, for those who don't know, I'm known for not finishing my games, and I just finished two amazing games. So back to this, <laughs> I have now two sequels, and I asked you guys which one will be the next game to play. And as you can see, we have 67% on Bandy Dark and the Dark Revival, and 33% on Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek, which is after the f you have to play the first one, and then this one, and then Hello Neighbor Two. Or like to put in I think this is the the chronological order. Hello Hello Neighbor One, Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek, and Hello Neighbor Two. So as you can see, yeah, I'm trying to play it the right way. I'm not trying to skip anything because I want to pay attention to the lore. So, anyways, I want to say real quick, thank you guys for placing your votes. Your vote really does matter. And as you can see, it shows. 15 votes. That's incredible, man. I really appreciate that. So look out for more um uh, future polls updates from from this channel or personal matters you know sometimes i might be a little busy you know i have to go to an appointment or i have to go somewhere out of state with the family either for emergencies vacations or maybe business like not business business like oh yeah like i have anything like that going on it's just something important on the on this post community post i'll let you guys know so in case you're wondering where's neku is he skipping today <laughs> is he even feeling that well if that happens, I'll let you guys know, because I know there's like a Discord thing you guys can do over there, but I don't use Discord like that. So any kind of updates, I'll put on the community post. So once again, um, yeah, thank you guys for placing your votes. And the winner is Banding the Dark Revival, which we'll be playing today. So if I can just... There we go. Yes. And also, don't worry about Hello Neighbor. I will find a spot to put that into the schedule at some point. So there's no worries, even though they, they didn't win the, the poll, which is okay. So for those who wanted to see me play that game, fear not. Soon I will play it. Just not right now. And right off the bat, I see my boy uh, Skeleton it says, hi, hide and seek. Oh, okay. Oh, right, right, right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Hide and seek from Hello Neighbor is a prequel, not a sequel. That's, that's Hello Neighbor 2. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Thank you, Skeleton with a save. And Bandy in the Dark Revival is a sequel. Okay. Yes, thank you. So, Bandy in the Dark Revival is a sequel. And Hello Neighbor Hide and Seek is a prequel. So, my bad for the confusion. So, yeah. There you have it. <laughs> so, I'm kind of I'm kind of um, nervous, though. Because, as you can see the title, is he coming back? After all that went down from the first game of Bandy in the Ink Machine... Is Bandy coming back, or do we just gonna see cardboard pieces of him? Cause after what happened on the first game near the end, I thought he was dead. We get the final reel, he was looking at it for some reason, and then it just hurt him a lot, and I thought that's the end of Bendy. But seeing Bendy on this imagery, I assume he's back, maybe. Or maybe this is another cutout, but like like a much more maybe this is like a, a neat plushie, almost realistic. Because you can see the textures. But, yeah. Is Bendy coming back? I don't know. If he does come back, I hope he doesn't hold it against me for trying to seal him away or destroy him or something with that final reel. But nonetheless, let me just get everything ready. Okay, let's see. Audio. Let's max it out just a little bit. And the mic is okay. Don't want to make your ears explode. But, yeah. I had, I had to be a little patient. Because weekends, I got to go to work and I have to chill because, you know, I don't want to overdo it with streaming every single day, at least maybe one day, but not right now. <laughs> but yeah, it's I had to work out the schedule because you don't want to work like uh, eight to nine hours only to come back afterwards to be like, oh, I got to stream for two to three hours. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, I'm, I'm away from my schedule to be perfect, like 
If I can get like an early schedule, that'd be great. So I can get the eight or nine hours out the way, have a nice gap so I can chill, and then stream like maybe like mid to late night. Like it'll be like a night stream, which which wouldn't sound so bad. And for dinner, you know I'm gonna be using that DoorDash. Oh man, it's already late. I don't feel like pulling out the saute pans, cooking out some some eggs and bacon, because you know it's morning somewhere, right? Even though it's night for me at that time, it's morning somewhere on the other side of the world. So instead of that, I'm just going to just door dash. Yeah, stack up them points and then get the free 35 bucks. Yeah, it's apparently a new reward feature, which I learned um, when I got the app again, because it expired a couple weeks ago. And I like it because all they ask is you have to make sure you're subscribed. Don't don't subscribe and then unsubscribe afterwards and then enjoy your remaining days of your subscription, so called. But yeah, anyways, I'm, that's just I'm just rant I'm not ranting, but I'm just yapping. Crescent Crab says I show up on time, kind of. Well, welcome, Crescent Crab, man. I should never feel like you have to. That makes it sound like a chore, lol. Yeah, listen, man. My my streams are not supposed to be like mandatory like for y'all hey if you guys want to chill with me that's cool if not hey feel free to see the vlogs if you want to they're going to be there forever unless i have to remove it for some reason you know copyrights or or i say something really stupid which is all the time and i want to save myself the embarrassment then yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna put that sucker on the on the shelves of my personal library for me to not <laughs> ever see again <laughs> yeah oh uh, yeah cringy stuff uh, yeah, I did DoorDash pickup today and got Salvadorian food. Ooh, Salvadorian. I don't think I had the pleasure of having that. I think I had a Salvadorian individual in my classes back in the old high school days. I think it was just a one person, but they seem really nice. You and not I. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, for me, it's, uh, it, uh, streaming is never a chore. Streaming is a hobby. Uh, it's also my excuse to play more games because on the weekends I don't I do play Fortnite because you know I gotta do the dirty daily but after that not not hardcore gaming like like other lovely individuals like World of Warcraft putting lots of hours and stuff. Uh, uh, in, in my case, in, in my um, you know from that to this, I usually do all my gamings on the weekdays. As you can see, I have like uh, Genshin Impact. Um, bending the dark revival and the yeah stuff like this. Okay, that's my brother's stuff. That's my brother's stuff That's like me and my sister's stuff and that's obviously my stuff because I <laughs> come on man. Look at that it's, It says me all over this. I love me. I love me my waifus but yeah um, I try to I try to do my best not to overdo playing games on the weekends because I'm trying to make myself more what's the word productive because I, I I love to do art but I, I always got see back in back in let me take you guys back in time. Let's see, I'm gonna grab you right now and take you back in time. Whether you like it or not. 2021. Yes, three years ago. It was just work, stream, Genshin Impact, Apex Legends. I didn't I wasn't playing Nikki God as a victory. I was playing Shadowverse and um bottom line, games was consuming so much of my time, especially Apex Legends, for the entire year. So I told myself 2022 is going to be different. We're going to cut back on Apex. As you can see, it's not on the playlist. I did came back for a brief moment just to see what it's like. And it definitely changed. But um, not it wasn't strong enough for me to come back to it. So yeah, I'm trying to reduce the amount of games. And and just have more free time. You know, uh, watch those binge watch those shows I've been wanting to watch for so long. Anime, comedy sitcoms. Uh, that thing I was talking about drawing or just have time for myself just to self think, you know, like, hey, what am I in the mood for? Because I always have something in front of my face, either a monitor, my phone, my TV. I just I just need just to, hey, let, what do I want to do? Do I want to go take some rest? Do I want to take a shower? Well, what, what, do I want to go? Let me go maybe to the library just to see what's good over there. <laughs> yeah, just me just getting away from technology and gaming. So yeah, uh, so far so good. I'm making myself play more games on the weekdays, and then the weekends I just have, you know, just um, drawing, binge watching shows, coming back from work. You know, that's always fun, haha. -ha. And yeah, just just you know, a weekend just just chill, just chill. Hey, how's it going, Pyro? Hi, how you doing? Gotta walk the dogs, says Lost. How you doing, Lost too as well, man? Happy Mondays. 
Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, walking dogs are awesome. I do that only in my backyard. Because the fr see, the moment I take my little Shih Tzu to the front side, or even, it's just, we have neighbors. Neighbors have grass and, and property, you know, like sometimes like lawn chairs or toys because they have kids that just like leave them on the grass. My dog is just like, oh, that looks new. Oh, sir, I can't wait to go piss on their grass. No, I'm just like, no, dude, I can't let you do that. So uh, I'm like, if any kind of walking, we have to do it in the backyard because it's pretty decent size for her small little doggy self. So it's like a small world for her, medium to small, actually more medium to large. Now that I think about it, but yeah, if I, <laughs> taking her to the front, you know, outside the house in the neighborhood, hell no, dude. Because then I have to be like, no, 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 you can't go there. No, you can't go there. There's the, there's the road. They're going to become roadkill. And she gets way too excited. And I can't pick her up because she's so old. Because she has like old rib cages. So I have to use the, 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 the safety, safety, what's it called that thing? A collar attached to her torso. So it doesn't just, it doesn't pull her in the neck. It pulls her like everything, but not like. <laughs> <laughs> like bad it's just like an, un, a nice gentle tuck <laughs> i'd be like hey hey come back you're drifting too far to the sun icarus come over here come on we have to go back <laughs> well yeah the star went oh well excuse me i thought it felt like sharing but also i tried some items sounded mexican and try them very different interpretation of some already named foods also pupusas are a go-to that sounds pretty legit pupusas makes me think of octopus Octopus, Paposa, but all to you as well lost. Well, anyways, that's just me just rambling. Yeah, how are you guys doing, man? How are you guys doing? Hopefully, you guys are doing good on this Monday. And again, uh, just in case you missed it, I appreciate everyone placing their votes. Look up for more future um polls and things of that matter on the community post of my channel. Just yeah, for anything cool like that. But no wasting time, shall we? Let's go right into the Bendy in the Dark Revival. Oh boy. Oh boy, Bendy, it's been a minute. Haven't seen you I haven't seen you since Thursday. And it's already Monday. Joey Drew Studios. With the shape of Bendy's head. So I assume he's coming back. The panic button. So this, the person that created this game is, is it the Drew Studios? Like overall? With Rooster Teeth, okay. Rest in peace Rooster Teeth, they're gone now. Oh yeah, look out for this. Photo sensitive seizure warning. So if you have stuff that, like if you can't handle photo sensitivity and get seizures, don't, don't watch the stream. Skip it. But for those who can't like me, you're about to you're in for a ride. And so far we have the title card. It says Bendy the Dark Revival with the sound of Bendy. Options, sure. Do we have subtitles? Sensitivity, uh, I'm a speedster, so let's go a little bit by two notches. Vibration, sure. Normally I have it off, but I'll I'll have an I'll leave an exception. I'll make an exception for this one. As well as so, Bendy's Secrets of the Machine ended up not being a game. It was a mini game meant to announce the new games. As well as the you will meet some old locations. Okay, now we're about to get deeper into this rabbit hole. Well, I'm all for it. Let's go, baby. Two hours of lore <laughs> and of Bendy and the Dark Revival. New game. It says easy to normal to hard. If you're new to the studio, if you visited the studio before, if you have mastered the studio, we're gonna keep it normal, right? We'll keep it just that happy medium. It's like a little challenging, but not too easy. Okay. Cutscene. And it looks like we're. We're always free to choose. To believe what we want to believe. But when you step back, when you really look, 
at where you've been and the things you've done. Your past will come to devour you. Not sure if that was Alice, the the angel lady with the, you know, narrating. There you go, little guy. And only 800 more frames to go. No way I'm getting through tonight without some coffee. Probably some downstairs. Oh my goodness. Stan, the square. We're not Henry. We're a lady. 800 frames more? Dude, this lady got some energy. Nah, bro, I'll be like, boss, I can't do it. <laughs> Let's get out the, um, what do you call those? individuals rookies let the rookies take half of that oh my goodness just looking around we got coffee some donuts um uh, bandy nice to see bandy again and uh I'm, i think that might be bandy himself in that imagery all right so let's see yeah as well as the crew can't forget those time for a little adventure locate the elevator employee of the month award Audrey, which I assume that's us, right? And there's some lore right here. I'm like a cola star. It says, Congratulations on your audition. Your best friend, Henry Stein. So I, ha I have the last name Henry Stein, and the other guy's Joey Drew. Wow. What a massive upgrade. Have you noticed that everything is not yellow and black? Everything is just like kind of normal, like real world. And I do have a shadow. That's good. That's good. I'm there. Arch Gates Pictures. No, the person talking to you is your new Che. By the way, our name is Audrey. As well as that was Joey's Drew's apartment. Oh my goodness. All right, is there... Oh, my... There's me! Oh, my God, this is feels so revolutionary. I can see myself. I don't look that half bad. Look at my eyes. Just look at the hair. Uh, wait, I think it's... What did it say? June something, 1973? So, this is like the 70s. So, we're skipping 40 years ahead? Wow. We're off to an adventure to get some coffee. Just look at that. Massive upgrade. Not to not to throw shade out of the Bendy and Ink machine. I'm, as, as I'm just saying, different visuals. Very pleasant. And we have Coca-Cola. We got 7-Up. Very clever. Sprites. Or Sprite. Uh, I forget that soda brand. It's like that. It has, it has like a baby blue with white and red, just like that. But I forget what it's called. But yeah, root beer and probably water. Thirsty cold drinks. Very nice. Let's see. Circle. Alt square. Yeah, circle used to be the bun to open up. You know, the yellow and black comes later. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. And I assume that is Joey Drew, right? Right across the hall. It's good to know that these jump scares hasn't left. It's, they're still going on. Even into the sequel. And there's the gorgeous, beautiful Alice Angel, the one and only. I, I wonder what became of her, though. Even though it looks like it was in a death loop in the first game, what becomes of these two? Are they in the same situation or there's uh, like, like what's what's going on? That's what I'm wondering. Hopefully the sequel can answer my questions. Locked. Look at this man. 
I think it's Joey, right? Oh, no way. <laughs> it's Nathan Arch. Okay, my bad. I thought you were Joey. It's Nathan. Oh, no. We have a situation. Doesn't look like we can save. Must be somebody else's office. And it looks like Bendy's running away from some sort of trap from her? Maybe? I'm not, I'm not sure. Maybe it's like a skit. That's not Joey Drew. Yeah, that's Nathan Arch. <laughs> yeah, two different individuals. So, a company called Arch Gates Pictures, which the person we saw across the hall was named Nathan Arch. I assume it's his company, right? Key today. Smart. Retrieve your office keys. Well, we can always use a window. <laughs> Squeeze through the window. We might get wet, but you know, if you want to get out, that's one way. I'm. I can't get over the fact that I have to do eight hundred drawings. Not this bullcrap, Bendy. No, with this, he's like, hi, miss me. Oh man, what's what's going on back here? Is there any um keys? Any buttons? Levers? No levers. Okay. Okay, you're about to get <laughs> the Henry treatment from over there to over here now, right? And I see the indicator, which looks definitely new. Which is good because sometimes you get lost in these games. Let's get this big old key. Okay, okay. Game's like, hurry the hell up. You must go outside. It's your mission. Whew. Here's the key. Okay. Okay, there's nothing behind me, which is great. Bendy... Uh, well, Bendy was across the hall, but now he seems to be gone. I'm surprised she took that so casually. Now, listen, if I was in her shoes and I saw that Cobra came out of nowhere, I'd be like, Anybody here? No. <laughs> just jet. Just get the key. Walk normal. Because if I ever started running, any kind of monster will come after me even faster. Right now, they're probably just teasing me. No, bro. I, I, I'd be like, boss, I'm not feeling it today. I'm going to be at home. With my doors locked. With the priest outside my door. Making sure it's, it's, <laughs> it's safe. Oh, my God. Search. It's a little hard to see, though. I'm not gonna lie. But I'm not sure what was the point of that. It was vacant. Well, not vacant, but it has papers that I can't really mess with. Oh yeah, but no spoilers. No spoilers. Keep that in mind, please. All right, let's see. Unlock. Not the most welcoming hallway I've ever seen. How are you so calm, lady? That sucker just happened right in front of us. Nah, bro. We're being... There's either... It's, it has to be the janitor. It has to be the janitor. Clearly not a monster trying to kill us. And, uh, and I like the fact that there's... Oh, wait. I was going to make a joke, but I was going to say I'm glad... I'm, it low-key made me laugh inside that she just shoved the key inside this doorknob. Because I was like, where's the keyhole in this thing? But I just realized there's a keyhole below the knob, so... Never mind. Okay, janitor. It's not funny. Hello? Is someone there? Probably. I'm just looking for something to protect myself with. I get a chair. Use it as a shield. That's what I'll do. Hello? Oh yeah, this is not creepy at all. Okay, guess we have to get out of here. Nothing's gonna. T Let me go to the side, actually. Hmm. No jump scare, eh? 
Yeah, they're probably saving the impact for later. See, this will be too easy. Yeah, putting something scary in the elevator when coming up. Yeah, too easy. It's probably gonna come in. It's, it's probably gonna come in the ceiling, or something. Let's see. Where's the uh? Ah, it's this one. Take me to the first floor, I believe. Oh wow! Audrey. Wilson, you scared me to death. I'm sorry, my dear. Didn't mean to frighten you. You're working late tonight. A pretty girl like you shouldn't be wandering around all by yourself. Mind if I step in? Uh, of course not. Thank you, Audrey. Oh, boy. You look like you could use a little... Company. No, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need no company, especially for me, bro. <coughs> and he has COVID. I'm sorry, that was too rude. He did, so, he probably has like a small cough. It's been really nice this past week. Just beautiful, gorgeous. Okay, buddy, you're getting creepy now. <laughs> now I'm stuck Please with this man. <laughs> Please tell me we're not trapped in here. Don't you worry, my dear. Oh my god, no. It's just a little short in this system. Happening a lot these past few days. No need to fret. I would like to step out now, please. Let's see what we can find. No, nah, it's just gonna Come be me, bro. Now. Old Wilson will protect you. Hell no. I am fine. Jesus, that was creepy. I'm sorry, man. I don't want to be rude, but the way he speaks, the way he looks, and then the... Hold on, my dear. Can I accompany you? You look like you need company. No, I do not. I should have said, I do mine. Sorry, Wilson. You're going to have to take the next one. I own my own. Also, Exor... Exor... Hello, new friends. You can call me X. Pleased to meet you all. Oh, pleased to meet you. Yes, much easier than saying the whole thing. How's it going, X? Maybe it was a bit too harsh there. Maybe he's... What is that expression? Don't judge a book by its cover. Maybe he's the sweetest guy in the whole entire building, for all I know. He probably took a bullet for me if it came to that. I was... Yeah, Mr. Wilson, I'm sorry about that. You're probably... You're, you're a gentleman. Maybe creepy at first, but, you know, maybe, maybe he's just... Yeah, that's my fault. I'm judging too fast. Just a few more switches to throw. Follow me. It will be perfectly safe. safe. Follow Wilson. Okay, Mr. Wilson. He looks like he knows what he's doing, so I I guess I'll, I'll continue to shadow him. Archgate Pictures presents Joey Drew, the man and the demon. Yeah... This, look at that face, up to no good. And then with the demon, yeah, even worse. I wonder if Joey's alive. Oh, never mind, 1901 to 1971. So he died around 70 years old. And it's currently, if I remember correctly, 1973 around June-ish. So real quick, it says, Joey Drew was the founder of the studio and the man who created Bendy, one of the most beloved cartoon characters of all times. Huh. In 1929, with the help of his business partner, Henry Stein, he created Bendy's first short, Little Devil Darling, as an early talky cartoon. As his entertainment legacy grew over the year, Joey's optimism and pioneering spirit never wavered. Starting with just a pencil and a dream, he created this studio. Here at the Archgate Pictures, we strive to continue his dream and see Bendy live on. Dreams come true. I heard that expression before on the walls of the first game. So, Henry Stein is my name from the first game, and he is no longer alive. So, now I'm just thinking to myself, who is the antagonist besides, you know, little man over here? 
Is it? <laughs> wait. <laughs> Look at that face. I'm sorry. It's like, wait. You so you said we're gonna take a picture after three. You did add one. <laughs> oh man, they they clearly never discussed the right picture. This is clearly like um the ones you probably take out and delete. <laughs> oh man. Hey, how's it going, Mister? Um, I I I might be wrong. I, I that could be no, that's be Joey, right? Let me see that face again. Yeah, there's that little skinny stash. So that's definitely Joey. Joey Drew. <laughs> Wilson is way too sus for his own good. Yeah, I, 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 if, if I'm just being straight honest, his visuals, you know how he looks, and his voice does not help. Yes, follow me. Right this way. I'll lead us to safety. Hmm, Miss Audrey look awfully gorgeous today. Come now, there's nothing to fear. It's just your old friend, Wilson. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't help. I'm, if, if, it just doesn't help. The Ink Demon could be the antagonist. Oh, that would be a great plot twist. Or what, what if, or, or the antagonist is the, oh no, wait. what if the antagonist is the protagonist? Plot twist. We're just watching the origins. I, 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 by the way, this is coming from a guy who has a voice spoilers. I haven't even seen the trailer for the Dark Revival at all, so right now I'm going here blind. Well, well, with the information I got from the first game, so that's all I have to work with and what I'm playing right now. So yeah, Bandy sing along with Miss Alice and Bandy and Mister um, Boris. Ten favorite collections. No wait, ten favorite. What is that? Cauldron? Cauldron sound? Something with cauldron. And look at Mini Boris doing the T pose. Adorable. We need we should have Bendy and the Ink Machine in Fortnite. <laughs> we should have the bundle deal. It should have Boris, Bendy, Alice rocking the um uh, some nice SMG shotguns and then doing the emotes, the dance moves. The whole shaboodle. The Illusions of Living by Joey Drew. Very fascinating. It looks almost realistic. Because we already have Goku. Dude, we have freaking Goku in Fortnite. We have Kratos. Street Fighters. Um, recently, Avatar and Korra. Bro, sky's the limit. Okay, let's go back to it. Where's... where's oh, <laughs> Wilson! I missed you. Real quick. The Butcher Gang. I'm not sure if I've seen this from the previous game. Because I've seen a lot of posters. Like this one. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. But I, again, I don't want to sound judgy. But just look at him. <laughs> Follow me. Miss Audrey. This way. Into this mysterious door. There's also sinks. No, there are ink beans with souls. And ink beans without souls. That's the thing that's already known in the bending the ink machine. In this press square, where we're at it. Souls and no souls. Is that what I think it is? The legendary uh, ink machine. Looks like someone's been messing with the exhibits. There should be something on each of these pedestals. Audrey. Sweet Audrey. Okay, that's enough. Do an old man a favor and go find them. I'll tend to the power. Okay, search for the exhibits. And it feels like the first game. We just have to find the pieces. Does it do the thing like before? Oh, snap. Nice. Oh, definitely a nice upgrade. <laughs> cool. Objectives. Find a ranch. Record, plushy, book, ink, quote, and gear. L just literally like the first game. A nice, a nice uh, little deja vu. Let's see if I can find it much easier here than over there. Because the other one took me a while. Especially the plushy doll. Let's see. 
If my hunch is correct, that this is the infamous ink machine, how did it produce such a creature like Bendy? There's nothing much special. I mean, it's just a big old piece of metal with some pipes. Or, yeah, and a little thingy pipe. It. How, where's the magic? <laughs> is There's no demon symbols, because keep in mind, there was demon symbols over there in the first game. Maybe it's like at the bottom, where it's sealed. Because I'm just like, how does this create a bender? But anyways. Here's the... The ranch. And I'm not talking about the sauce. Wow. And we just place it here. Wowzers. Just uh, one, two, three, wait, there's six. So we only need five more pieces. That's the pedestals. No, that's not the ink machine. It's the drawing machine. Oh, for real? Man. See, do you see how it looks, how it stands out? After playing a game called Bending the Ink Machine, I assume I thought this was the infamous ink machine. It's just a regular machine. Hmm. Oh, well. I, I can't wait to see how this all plays out. Since this is a sequel in the 1970s, and there's the ink. <laughs> I'm sorry, that picture, though. Wait, you set up the three. You took it on one. You know, one, two, three. Say cheese. No. Nope. <laughs> Click. Oh. Uh, no, but that is the ink machine, says X. As well as Le my Miguel says, my dear, this thing can fill an entire room with paint. So think it can create a creature like Bendy. I guess. But the thing I'm wondering is, how does a machine bring a, a, a monster like Bendy to life? You, you know what I'm trying to get at? How does that come to this? Because if we're taking like the easy route, Demon symbols on the floor, a picture of Bendy on a piece of paper on the circle, cast a ritual, you know, sacrifice words. Bam! He comes out of the paper alive. But a machine. Does does it how does that work? Is there like a button make me a bend no maybe like put the paper inside the machine and the machine already has like demon symbols ready to go and it crapped out Bendy. Maybe that's one way to go at it. You know? It can't be that easy. It's not like a it's not like fairy odd parents where you can just wish and it comes right in front of you. There has to be a way for that to come to be. You know what I mean? This it can't be that easy, right? There's um Bandy the doll. I will honestly have one of these. I will put it right on my bed. So I can scare somebody. Like, anybody that comes to my room is like, oh, why is that there? Oh, it's just Bendy. He's my little um, guardian angel. But the irony the irony is he's a demon. Yeah, he's just staring across, like, the door. So when you open it, you see him immediately. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 it's, it's, he's adorable. He's adorable right now, but he's creepy when you see his true form. It's, it's a weird combination. Oh, and there's the um, Illusion of the Living by Joey Drew. Very nice. What is that like? Few items? Uh, what do we need? Uh, I already, I already, <laughs> I already forgot. That's actually we could just do this. Uh, wrench check, book check, plushie, you got it. Inkwell, you nailed it. We need a gear and a record. A gear that is shaped like a gear, and a record is like a disc, like a really big one. Not sure where to find one of those, but it should be that hard to find, right? It's like a piece of metal. Hey, Boris, you know where I can find a gear? He says, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe he's like over here. Because I did find the wrench, like, wedged here. Oh, well, might as well. There you go, little bendy. And then we'll put in the 
the Ankh. And we have one more, I believe. There we go. The book. I feel like we could just use any other book. It would have been about the same, right? <laughs> or something. All right, Bendy's already like a flawed creature. He is without a soul. All creatures have his soul except Bendy because he was an accidental creature. As well as Miguel says, one thing has a secret ending. If you get all the books from the illusion of seeing your main character goes crazy and is locked up in a mental hospital. Oh no, yeah, I'll, that would be a very unideal way to end. Something if you played the game, the first game, you remember the normal Bendy? They completely changed the design of Bendy. Now he's no longer the good, you can call him the Ink Demon. As well as a panel on the wall. And there's the easy ginger. Hey, yo, yo, it's Neko in the stream machine. Yes, how's it going, man? Happy Mondays. We're playing the Dark Revival. And I'm learning so much. And we're not even that deep in the game. We're only like a few minutes in. We just met Wilson. A uh, very sus individual. But I like to believe deep down he's a nice guy. Until he isn't. And we're about to do some familiar things, which is getting some materials. There. Now, where the hell is his disc? Disc. I'm sorry, not disc, but the, the gear. <gasps> oh! I have found it. Yeah, that seems about right. But it was there for a reason, right? I hope nothing goes wrong. <laughs> but there we go. We got the we get the materials. Let's put in the the music. And then the gear. Uh, but real quick, the mental hospital might actually be an illusion, and Audrey's actually still stuck in this ink realm, as well as Wilson is literally every evil cartoon character incarnate. Spoiler. Yeah, no spoilers. I hope I am not gonna take it. I'm not, I'm not gonna take that comment seriously in case that is spoilers. I'm gonna just try to forget about it, just because I, I want to play and not have my mind pre-exploded. Let's see. The ritual. Auto save. Nice, nice. Hey, Wilson. I did it. Only one thing left to do. Pull that switch. What switch? Turn on the power. Oh. <laughs> Do you mean this switch? Sure. Let's see. It is done. Wilson? Oh, Audrey. The things you've set in motion. What's happening? The ink is calling us, my dear. Can't you hear it? What? Shh. Don't fret. Damn. We're going home. Stay back. Listen to me, Audrey. Pay attention to these last words. Because very soon, you will forget everything. Let go! Come find me, Audrey. Come find me, and I'll show you your purpose. I'll show you the truth. This can't be real. And now, we die. Wait, you're not serious, are we? are not going to really die. Oh, no. No. oh my god, Wilson. I gave you the benefit of the doubt. Now it looks stupid. Thanks for everything. Damn it. Now we're covered in ink. Bendy in the Dark Revival. What an interesting start. And it went yellow. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Are we going back to the cartoon style world? Or not. Maybe? Let's see. Where do we go from here? 
Is this it? Is it this? Is it black? I mean, we were covering ink. Wow. What's wrong with my hands? What's wrong with my hands? It's okay, it's just ink. We do go back. Escape the shoot escape the studio. Oh! <gasps> oh wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see that reflection. Okay, we actually wait. Mm hmm Am I Alice? I kinda look like Alice. I don't maybe I shouldn't jump the gun yet. I was I saw the this imagery and I was like, am I who I think I am? But no, I'm I'm still Audrey. So just right off the bat, you dick Wilson. <laughs> I, I see you fill in that stereotype: creepy voice, creepy look, and then creepy vibes. You turn out to be a creep this whole time. Why? Why didn't I kick you? Why did I say I do mind? Go take it the next elevator. I should just said that. Look where I am now. This is for me being too nice. Um. Yeah, Wilson is, is really a furry that wants you to dance with the ink demon. I should have known. The signs were all over the walls. Or his face. Why oh, is everything yellow? Yeah, we're in the um We're in the Bendy World. Not really sure what to call this. I'm gonna call it the Bendy World. Welcome home. Look at this little bastard. Yeah, he's smiling at me. Oh my god, I, I so it's, I, I think we're actually going to see Bendy. We might actually see Bendy after all. Because we're in his world. Even after the events that occurred from the first one, I get the feeling he's not dead. Call it a hunch. But anyways, welcome home. Oh wait, actually, hold on. The man who killed the ink demon, Wilson knows their purpose. Yeah, come find me if you wanted to know the truth. Audrey. Also, Wilson killed the Ink Demon? I don't know. How does he... Impossible. Ain't no way. What does he have? Does he have the brush of destiny? <laughs> that he destroyed him? Also, who the hell's crying? Why are you crying? That should be me. I didn't want to be here. Here I am on the Ink World of Bendy. Every great story begins in mystery. Although things may be dark at the start, the truth will illuminate your way. Don't be afraid of who you are. Fear only what you may become, and banish it away, your best pal. Joey Drew Studio's personal memo. Memos are stored in the pause menu. Let's go see who that is, man. Here's a closer up. Wilson. Mm -mm -mm. Why is this shining? It's, it's kind of glowing. Oh, oh, I see. Missing pieces, right? It's coming back to me now. Like the first game. Like the gears and the valve. If it's if it's shining, you have to go look for it. So it's probably not that far, right? It's probably under my nose. I think. Search. Ah. They look like ninja scrolls. Like really long ones. Got Juan and two. You know, we could just use we could just use one to climb upward, and then we can keep the other one to whack at something. Wilson is my purpose, as well as a kiss can. Wait, what? Actually, let me see this real quick. Nice. Miguel says, a kiss can't die. He's stuck in the cycle. He's like the king of this world. You can't banish him. You can't do anything with him. He's the king of the world. So he's broken? Damn. He has that much power. Also, would you like me to be your guide in the Bendy Games, Naku? Hey, appreciate that, X, but I, I got it right. I got it for. I got it right here. I got it. If, the, if I do get super stuck, I'll definitely come to you. But for now, I got this. I got back. I was eating some cookies with milk. Oh, dude, that sounds really good. Welcome back. 
Turns out Wisdom was a dick. Who could have seen this coming? Aha, uh -huh, let's see. Uh, what's this piece of paper? Geez, you think I was drowning in kittens? The way these people are looking at me. I've never seen such disappointments in a person's eyes. But this is the way of things. If management can't pay their bills, then the bank takes the goodies back. Still, it does break me a bit knowing how much I love them old cartoons this place used to make. Oh well, times change. Life moves on. Telly Wester doesn't ring any bells. Might, might be a new face in this game. By face, I meant like new name to come up, but yeah. Music. A music box. So... Oh my god, it's Alice! That is adorable. That sucker must have like hotcakes. Yes, I want one. I want the limited edition signed by Alice herself, please. Okay. That will be $32.50 plus taxes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that, that's actually pretty legit. R3 to crouch. Okay, that's new. There we go. Oh, snap. That's not creepy. I spoke too soon. This is Wilson, your friend, your protector. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. I banished him away, tore his body in two. Damn. In return, I ask just a little favor. Among you, there is a stranger. A young lady. Bring her to me. Yeah, I really don't want to go to you, Mr. Wilson. Yeah, uh, no, no, I'm good. You know what? The truth? Who cares? I want to get the hell out. That's what I want. I want freedom. I, I don't... This, this, this is very sus. So, he has companions, and he said it himself. I tore that bandy into two. So he does have that power. Is there a way to obtain such power? Maybe I wish to use it to protect myself. Also, Joey, Jack and I have been wondering if you could meet us, if you could meet with us concerning the current situation. We've been with you for many years and we feel we have contributed to the success of bending the past. Our interest is purely keeping this company strong. We just want to help however we can. Let's talk Sammy Lawrence. Now that's a familiar name I have heard around the first one, Sammy. I think he's the um, the crazy guy with the bendy mask, and they got um, axed to the side of his temple from Borish. But he he should be dead, right? So he should not be an issue, unless he has like a twin. Then I'm screwed. Look at this, it's bendy. But even even though I even after he said it himself, tearing Bandy into two pieces, I get the feeling he's gonna come back. Come on, he's he's Bandy. Ain't no way he could be dead that quick. Ain't no way he has that antagonist plot armor. And no, we're playing as Audrey. Also, Boris the boy. Hello, man. Welcome back, Boris. Welcome, welcome. To be fair, you were simping for Wilson too. Me? I don't. First of all, Neku does not simp. Let's say what say what we all. Neku does not simp. Let's keep it straight. All right, I don't simp, especially not for Wilson. Hell no, ain't no way. I just I can't see it. <laughs> Simp. Neku simping again. Stop spreading lies, guys. Come on, man. Don't bully streamer. I'm just playing Bendy the Dark Revival. Are you planning as Alice? I thought I was Alice. I'm actually a lady named Audrey. I honestly thought she was Alice. Again, the this dress from this down look. But no, I'm somebody else. Semping for Wilson? I just... I just don't see it. I can never see that. That's like... That sounds like a nightmare. You do simp? I don't simp. 
Uh, he can do some. Wait, he can do something to Benny, but I can't say do two spoilers. Thank you. I appreciate that skeleton. No spoilers. I, I, how is he that strong? He's just an old man. What, what power does he have? The sheep, sheep, sheep. It's time to sleep, says Miguel. All right, let's crouch and follow the trail of ink. I, I have to admit, man, the visuals looks very stunning. Look at that. They definitely step up their game. Oh boy. It's Bandy in a handprint. Oh boy, it's a, it's a, it's a little. The, the text looks kind of funny. Let's see. Uh, the ink drips. Darkness has spread through this studio. The reaching shells creep around you. Something hungers for your corrupted flesh. It is close. So very close. It strains to grab you, choke you from behind. Damn. Not gonna ask me out for dinner? You will feel it <laughs> you will feel its breath upon your neck. It is very close. Okay, so it's gonna take me from the back. I better move forward. I ain't gonna let that happen. And I can't pick this up either, so that sucks. I was gonna use this as a projectile. Oh boy. Now nah, they, they somebody knows I'm here. They open up these doors. Oh whoa. Oh my god. Are you okay? Damn. He is not alive. All right, let's figure out the story, ladies and gentlemen. Let's figure out the story. Okay, so I'm going to out on a limb go go out on a limb and assume he tried to escape with his life. Um, he has probably has too much critical damage and then just, just fell down. He was like, I only have a little bit of energy left. Oh no, there's a vent. Crashes down, dies. That's just my theory. A game theory. But look at that. He has one arm. Yeah, he, maybe he died of blood loss. Unlucky. He, he's the, the bold guy, Piper. From the butcher gang and you simp all on over alice i mean miss alice really <laughs> listen man listen I, I don't know about any about that i'm just calling i'm just calling her that name because i'm it's put it's putting respect on that name bro it's putting respect on that name miss alice you know it, hey it boris says hey call me sir boris i'll call him sir boris rest in peace charlie that was oh he has a name not just piper charlie dang Rest in peace, Mr. Charlie. Maybe he was a nice guy, unlike Wilson, but then he died. Unlucky. Hopefully we can find some comrades like we did with Boris and Alice. Lore. I just received the call. Joey Drew is dead. What a quiet end to an extraordinary life. Last I heard, he was staying in some crapped apartment downtown. You practically hear the rats through the telephone when he called me last April. In spite of that, old Joey sounded quite happy when last we spoke. More like the excited, hopeful young man I knew once upon a time. <sighs> well, farewell, my friend. What will become of your creations now? I'm not gonna lie, I missed the... Uh, I missed the subtitles. It made it easy to read along, but I guess I had to really pay attention. Yeah, I had a feeling. I saw this, I was like... I... I have to climb up, and yes, I do have to climb up. Nice. She's not a damsel in distress. She can... She can work her way up. Now... Is this what to mess with? Security override. Yes. Hold L1 to run. Why do I need that feature? <laughs> Crouching. Running. <laughs> Damn it. I thought I can breathe for a moment. So if you just relax. There's nothing. Yeah, I mean, there's something to worry about, but you're good. No. Nope. Run, boy. Also, one thing I just remember, says Miguel. How you said about the butcher's gang. Anything you do to... Anything you do, if you see a box with some creatures inside, 
don't open it. You'll get cursed at... You get cursed, doesn't matter. There's traps in this game. I can't... Damn it! Chased and traps. Ah, dang it. Okay, okay. That's cool. I just gotta adapt. That's what we gamers do. We get good, we don't get bad. Hey, Bandy. Mr. Bandy Wandy. Bandy Schmandy. Oh, look! More Bandy. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell? I might have to look at that stream feedback later on. I think it's one of those poppy playtimes where you have to look really quick and close where you can see um, Huggy Wuggy staring at you. If you miss it, he'll go back to the vents or tuck away his long arms. It's like maybe I think it was one of those moments because this sucker closed. And I don't know who it was. It was too quick. Might have been Bendy. Oh, I know. Golly. Yeah, I see. Okay, if you have seizures, don't don't go watch any further. There's gonna be a lot of this. Oh my! Hiding spot. Good to know. The cr oh wait the cruise wait 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 Bendy Alice Angel Boris the Wolf who the hell is Edgar? Edgar the Butcher Gang. Oh, that's definitely a new face. It must be the boss. Heavenly's toys. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, dude. Little Miracle Station, or the toilet, if you will. And there's a bandy doll. Oh my god, I feel so old. That, for those who don't know, that's a pencil sharpener. Back in my day, we used to use these a lot. Before we started using lead pencils. But yeah, you have to put your pencil in here, turn the the wheel uh, clockwise, I think, and then it sharpens your pencil. And uh, yeah, don't they always remind me? And not just me, but everyone else. Don't put your finger in there because it's stupid. And yeah, they're right because you don't want to ruin your finger. But golly, I haven't seen that in, in ages, man. Look at that. That looks important. You can save in the pause menu. You know what? Good idea. Let me do that right now. Save it. Good call, Miguel. Oh, I'm sorry. Good call. <laughs> well, X. Good call. Open the box, please. It makes the game better. I, yeah, I've been worried about that. What box are you talking about? I don't see no box. All I see is um this. Oh oh wait, <laughs> is it this? Let me crouch. There we go. Bacon soup. Oh, I love bacon soup. Square, square, square. It doesn't work, pal. Edgar is the striker. Chapter three is flashbacks heavily toys level K. Okay. I'm sorry, I couldn't find the box, bro. Pull the lever, Kronk. Good job, Neko. You just broke it. Oh, well. Hey, Bendy. How you doing? Oh, look. Bendy's over there, too. And Miss Alice. Wow. Oh, she's okay. As well as, of course, we can't forget our boy Boris. Oh, wait. There's another one. Wait, wait a minute. Look at that. Oh, oh there we go. Barley. Barley the Butcher Gang. So that's uh, either Piper... Or any face. This guy's definitely new. The the spooter. Mr. Edgar. Dude, this is so gnarly. Okay, guess we're going up. My fingernails. Oh god! Oh my god! Jesus. Oh okay, okay, okay. Run, run, run. Run and hide. I got you, I got you. Jeez. What are you kidding me? What? Hello? Who's singing?
This was supposed to keep me safe. This worked many times. Why? Why? He almost got me. But saved by the bell, or in this case, saved by the voice. Also, what do you mean spoilers? What spoilers? Uh, where are some people in the chat spoiling things? Lone health. Grab a snack. Survival will mean some dangerous situations. When you're low on health, you will need to eat. Locate hidden food stashes all throughout the studio. So it looks like we have upgrades on foods. We can go from donuts to bacon soup to pieces of meat. That's good, because <laughs> bacon soup, that sounds kind of gross all the time. Let me get some donuts. And it's shining, so we're going to... Yeah, we can enter with this. And don't worry, it's all good. It's, he just said... Chapter 3, flashbacks, heavily toys, level K. That's... No, that's almost like, um... You know, it's fine, it's fine. He's not getting into the specifics, like, the, the finer details. Are you fine with jump scares? Um... Yes and no. <laughs> Mixed feelings. It's it's whatever, bro. It's a scary game. It's Whether I like it or not, it's going to happen. That was such a dick move. I'm just climbing upstairs and then got him. Ugo, Ugo, Bugo, Shmuga, and then almost died. It, it's cool. It's whatever, bro. It's a can of bacon soup. I wouldn't drink too much of that if I were you. Alice! I saw the title and the name. But the aftertaste, it's not so good. But she looks Easy more human. Now, I'm not gonna hurt you. It looked like you needed some help. Don't touch me. What are you? Ugh, what is this horrible place? Yeah, I remember my first day down here. I know, it's scary. But you're actually pretty lucky. The machine could have turned you into a searcher. You mean that, that thing that attacked me? No, that's a piper. And he's part of a gang, so be careful. I don't understand any of this. I can't think. It hurts. You'll catch on pretty quickly, if you can stay alive. Lesson one. Searchers don't have legs, and they tend to swarm. Look, it's not good to stay in one place for too long around here. Keep moving, and stay close to the shadows. Take my advice. Head to the upper levels. It's safer there. Can I come with you? You can't. I'm sorry. I have a wolf. He doesn't care for strangers. Ain't that the truth? Like I said, you'll catch on. Good luck. I hope we meet again. Yeah, just don't tell Boris oh, that. And one more thing. Above everything else, stay away from the ink demon. I What's knew it. Demon? I knew it. Oh, you'll know him when you see him. He likes to smile. And he kills anything that moves. Wait! What's your name? They call me Alice. Not very fond of it. I'm Audrey. Well, Audrey, welcome to the studio. Okay, that's new. Welcome to the studio, Trophy Earn. And we have to escape it as well. Chapter 1 Drawn to Darkness. Most importantly, I, it made me happy to see a familiar face. Holy crap. So, Alice is in here. I, I mean, that should be a big surprise. And Boris. Is alive. Huge, huge. But I will admit, she looks a little different. She looks almost like she's still human. Like, kind of like me. Kind of. So this is a sequel, not a prequel. So I have to keep that in mind. But, I yeah, it's, that makes sense. I can't go with you because Boris is going to be like, do I have to whack him or her? So, yeah. I, I get the feeling he won't he won't do that to her because you know you know Alice a lady, another guy he's a guy, he doesn't want competition I don't blame him, <laughs> and, and then if he sees like Audrey's like what's she gonna do flirt with Alice haha, <laughs> is she, <laughs> no nah, no nah, he he's gonna be chill he's gonna be chill he's all right we're, we're good, but it, it's good to see her, and I hopefully we can see Mr. Boris. Now can we uh. No, we cannot. Okay. This is out of order. Wow, the old save station. We can't do that no more. But we can save the game over here. Save. Nice. Oh boy. Swarmers. 
Searchers, no legs, my favorite. And yes, Benny is alive. Gotta stay away from him. The man that likes to smell way too much. Around here, it's just best to stay out of sight. Don't ever go running in some place if you don't know what's in there. If you attack your pro if you attack your problem head on, you're going to find yourself in trouble. And that's just foolish. You gotta watch, listen, and when the time is right, push for it. your best pal. Who? Who? Ain't Joey, that's for sure. Joey, him giving useful, nice advice? Ain't no way. This has to be from Henry. Henry or someone that is literally anybody else that is not Drew or Wilson. Uh, that Alice is the one from Chapter 5 of the first game, and the wolf she was talking about is Tom, which is his real name. Tom, Tom is something. I love how Piper made the world to a slow motion when he attacked you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. that That's kind of... I guess that was kind of cool, now that I think about it. I wish he was nice. Why can't we be nice to each other? I mean, doesn't he have a soul? The soulless person is just Bendy, right? Maybe he's like, oh, you know, maybe I was a little too mean. Maybe I should just, like, help them find their way. You looking for an exit? Uh, I don't have one. I know a, a lady named Alice. Maybe she can help you. How about, how about one of those? I would love one of those. Kindness and respect. Oh, there's me. Wow, what a twist. I've just seen my old self to my new self. It's only temporary. But I like the fact that she's composing herself. Most people just freak the hell out. There's two secret forces here past one. I did. And there's Bendy. Also, um, by the way, don't waste any food when you're full of health. Also, bacon soup healing your max, so don't waste it. <laughs> Gentlemen, says Boris. Uh, reminder, that's Allison, not Alice Angel. And... Got you, I read that. Your best pal, Joey Drew? Are you sure? If I see another message, I'll, I'll, I'll double check. Ain't no way it came from Joey. Ain't no way. It came, it came from probably Henry. Look at the size of this plus sheets. It's kind of covered in ink. So far, so good. Where is... Wait. Where is... Toy Man? A, what? Yeah, so those Gen Corporation boys are kind of strange. Every time I come back to work, they put in even more of their pointless gadgets. Now, last week, huh, they uh, they built some kind of, I don't know, electrical towers over near Animation Alley. This week, they added security codes for opening doors. Jeez, what kind of work do they think we do here anyways? Last I checked, we make toys and silly cartoons. <laughs> This ain't Fort Knox, you know what I mean? Now, it's my job to look over these shipping invoices and remember a bunch of random numbers? <laughs> no freaking thank you! I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna record the door code here so I don't forget it. Hmm, you will. Alright. The code is 451. 451. And if uh, Mr. Drew or Mr. Gray asks, you didn't hear it from me, okay? I'm gonna write that down. Four, five, one. There we go. See, this is why you play these tapes, man. For lore and for useful information. Let's see. Security lock. Four. Five. And one. Where's the... Hey, Bandy, how's it going? Big fan, never, never stopped. Hopefully he's merciful for the, the new guy over here. Tasty Eats Original Chips. Yummers. Oh! Okay, jeez, that was disgusting. Made a weird mouth noise. It's like... <laughs> Something like that. He sees everything. 
Oh, that's actually kind of clever. Look at that. He sees everything. He's got those enemy eyes. Oh, by the way, you can read the cassettes in pause menu. Oh, well, you're absolutely right. Oh, that is so right. Oh, that makes see. I wish it. Wait, actually, come to think of it. Yeah, so yeah. those Gen Corporation boys are kind of strange. Okay, so the next time I see a, a voice message, I'm going to pause it and then just go here because I like to read along. But thank you. Thank you, Glitch. Uh, glitching Great Skeleton. When are going to play TF2? As soon as I can figure out how to fix the audio for the gameplay because it, it, doesn't, it doesn't go through the stream. Oh, you can see it. You can hear my voice, but you can't hear the gameplay, which really sucks. I'm, I'm still working on it. But once I resolve it, then we'll play some TF2. You missed a funny secret in the beginning of the game, actually. I did? Oh. What is it? It's cool. You can spoil that for me. I bet it was really um, intriguing. Oh, here we go. Pause it, and then we go here. It seems that Archgate Studios, in all its misplaced admiration, was so eager to absorb the life's work of that crooked charlatan Joey Drew, they didn't fully realize what they had acquired. Call it fate that I just happened to be there on the loading dock that morning when the delivery boys dropped one of the crates. It smashed open, and inside there was something truly special. A mass of yellow steel and beautiful rivets. Some kind of machine. No one knew what it was. So the fools put it on display for all to see. But I could tell that this crude device held secrets. Secrets that could be mine. The ink machine, right? The one that we saw earlier from the game with Miss Audrey from the beginning. Yeah, that has to be it. I just don't understand why couldn't he just do the ritual himself? Why did he need Audrey to do it? It's so confusing. Maybe it's part of the ritual that is be done by another person. Hmm, I don't know. Just a guess. It's a tiny, goofy, pink dragon puppet. Ah, damn it. Ah, oh, that... Ah, oh, dang it. I would have loved to see that. Ah, it's cool. It's cool. I just had to Google it. Turn around. Joke's on you. I'm not going to turn around. I'm going to move backwards. Oh, snap. I'm defying logic. I'm breaking the matrix. No, impossible. You're supposed to play a role of turning around. Nope. I'm going to defy logic again. I'm going to move sideways. Yes, indeed. Guys, this is the way to play the game now. Also, the, is it? Where's the mirror? I'm pretty sure there's like a mirror on my left. Still not looking back. I'm just turning sideways. I'm turning sideways again. Yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it changed. Wilson knows. Okay, we're good. I thought I was like I thought I was about to get a jump scare. It just says Wilson knows. That's it. Cool. Ah, yes indeed. Turn around, bro. It would just be a message. I was just goofing around. <laughs> I think it's to see your face. Maybe he's shy. Open up. Open up, please. Well, I tried. Hey, Bandy. You want me to go this way? Now, crouching is... R3, R3. Almost forgot. It's kind of cramping here. <gasps> ah, yes, indeed. Employee lockers. But that's not the thing, it's this. It 
It's coming from my left. Awfully small. Why, why, what's the purpose of that one corner? Just to punish people? Because <laughs> I had like one chair. Your punishment for screwing up this drawing is to stay there for several minutes. Yes. True punishment. What is this? Inspect. Looks heavy. Oh, wait. Why do you want to fist it? Why? Oh, it's an upgrade. Oh, but... How did she came to the conclusion of putting two to two together? Maybe if I fist it, that's how to make it really work. Uh, we can increase our health permanently. Or we can increase our stamina permanently. Well, there seems to be a third one. But, yeah. Definitely brand new. I like this. We're going for the stamina. I mean, sorry, um, the health. It says, search for more hidden unstable inks to unlock more upgrades. Sure. Consumed a thick ink canister. I think it was a good investment on the HP factor. Stamina. Oh, keys. It's good, but health, I think it's better overall. Now, unlock a maintenance gate. Such a weird contraption. Ooh, take. Collected slugs of three. There's Bendy again. A search box. Ah, it's it's filler. It's absolutely nothing. Now where could I put these ah keys? Little boars doing boars things. Oh no 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 we're good. Just Disconnect. There we go. So I, li I like the fact that he added some new mechanics into the game to keep it fresh. And now that I appreciate. As well as, Nick, are you going to play my first game when I make it? Um, sure. I don't mind it. Let me know when it's ready. I can't wait to see what it is. RPG. Or maybe a card game. Or maybe a gotcha game. Or wh whatever it is, man. I'm ready for it. Wilson knows you're a simp. Wilson doesn't know nothing about me, because if he did, he'd know I'm not a simp. You a simp. You a simp. See, I am not a simp. Wilson knows um Wilson sees everything. Wilson knows your purpose. That was a that was Fisher, one of the members of the Butcher's gang. Hopefully I can see him like without him being shy. I, I never really thought about that. Since he quote unquote defeated Bendy, does he obtain his powers? Hmm, makes me think. Is it stuck? Yeah, this is not creepy at all. Into the darkness we go, ladies. Let's go. This is some Freddy Cooker scary nightmares. It just needs more steam and everything turns red. And of course, a silhouette of Freddy himself with his claws getting closer and closer. Animation alley. Ooh, yeah, sure. There we go. Nice and smooth. Oh, there it is. Some oh, wait a minute. Take. Parts. What exactly are we going to be making with these parts, though? Hopefully a big-ass sword. And there's the Spooter. Oh, he's ready to to, to fight. Ready. Oh, my God. Oh, not so cute. Wow. Save your game anytime. In the yes, 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 yes. Let's save. Let's save after that nightmare. I give men compliment. Scares me to death. Where the hell did that thing go? Oh, that oh, that's where yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, not a different dimension. He come from the ceiling. See, this is adorable, but his real face now fugly. Employee lounge animation debt. Little devil lounge. Hey, Bendy. And there's coffee and a donut for fifteen cents. Ooh, dude, you're never gonna find those kind of deals over here in America. Nope. 
15 cents, they're practically giving them away. Donuts, coffee, nah, that'll be like, what, $7? <laughs> With that Wumbo combo? Now nah, we're here, 15 cents. Oh la la, today's menu, we have soup, the jour, bacon soup again. <laughs> that, that again was just a very nice chef's kiss. Um, cold fish, I mean cold food. Cheese sandwich with sprouts, 15 cents. Uh, those sprouts. Chef special, Amy Borgugung. Amy Borgugung non with potatoes and green. Potatoes left, sold out. Oh, I'm sorry, plates. I can't read English, I swear. Plates, now potatoes. Plates left has been sold out. There's none left over. But how the hell do you pronounce that? Amy Borgugen Gunun Gugin Borgunun. <laughs> what is that? Hold on, I'm gonna Google this. What is this? This sounds fake. Hold on, good old Google. B O U R G U I G N O N. What the hell is a Borgugun? B Borgunun Borgunun. It's also called beef burgundy. Uh, beef burgundy. Why couldn't you just say beef burgundy? Oh, let me see if I can give you as an image. It's soup. It's a meaty soup that actually looks quite nice, but it's very hard to pronounce. Let me see if I can pull it up for you guys to see. Let's see. Beef burgundy. Here. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait. Well, wait. Y'all can't even see it. I'm sorry. Let me try that again. There we go. This is it. Beef burgagoon. The recipe. Pieces of meat. Onion. Parsley. Maybe cilantro. I, I don't know what that is. It could be dill wheat or something. No, wait. Not dill wheat. It has a different texture. Some sort of herb. And maybe some carrots with some pepper. Some, maybe some salt. Very nice. Uh, very lovely. Oh, uh, that was kind of nice. Uh, beef burgagoon with <laughs> with mashed potato. I will legit buy that. If they say it's ten dollars, I'll I'll buy it. Looks kind of hearty. Golly, what's it so hard to pronounce? Look at that, y'all y'all. Has any does does anybody know how to pronounce that? Let's break it down. Amy, right? Amy. Boar, boar, gooey, boar, gooey, ganon, <laughs> boar, gooey, ganon. Yeah, there we go. I, I just, I just get a marker and just save everyone's day. It's basically meat stew or something. Meat stew. You're welcome. No outside food. Also, good luck, Rio Andre. We will miss you. Love the kitchen staff. Oh, oh, they no longer work there. Well, that sucks. Close the tab, my eyes are dying. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got flash with the, with the, because right now everything is dark, right? And the Google Chrome with the the recipe had everything white. It's like solar flare, <laughs> ah! uh, light mode, dark mode, if you will. I just want to know. Uh, I just want to let you know that the how do you get the food? Sure, there's a lot, but it will run out one day. If the loop resets, then the food is back, like nothing happened. So we're never running out of food. Also, I'll be going now. You seem already have some people helping you. Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah, they, I got the the homies out here. And also, I, I can do all good on my own, too. I just have to put the, you know, figure out the context. You know, once they give me a piece of information, I can just, you know, put the dots together and figure out how to get out or get into something. But hey, X, I always appreciate your, uh, you know, the help. It's, it's always quite nice, you know. Also, the Cure Leroy is a singer. Oh yeah, yeah, he's the guy who made a song with uh, Justin Bieber. Um, that one good song—I forgot what's called. What was it called again? It's really catchy. But I know who you're talking about, though, Boris. I know who you're talking about. Bacon soup, brown label, just the way the little devil likes it. I will actually like to see that. Just Mr. Benny eating a, a a bowl of bacon soup. I just want to see him just consume it. Maybe he'll be nice. Cause you're not you when you're hungry. Let's go. What's over here though? 
Ah, yes, there's something on the other side, but as you can see, we don't have anything to whack. Like a hammer? We need some sort of, like, tool. But I'll keep in mind of that. We have food, but we don't need it. And, uh, something, somewhere to hide. What is that? Eat bacon soup. Now we're good, bro. Oh, there it is. A juicer. Oh wait, it's a battery. I thought it was. I thought it was an upgrade. Never mind. Never mind. I I got excited for nothing. <laughs> Dang it. It's just a bunch of junk. Daily buffet, eighty nine cents. No change. Please pay cashier first. An all you can eat buffet, I assume. Very nice, eighty nine cents. Very affordable. What am I doing again? Oh, get to the upper levels. Okay. So we're probably in the wrong spot. Let's go dash, but wait a minute. Hide. Wow, I am small. That looks very uncomfortable. Nah, if I if I did this in real life, my legs will be poking out. No, my legs will be into my chest. It'll be, I, I need a double barrel, bro. A double barrel. To, to, for, to me to hide into one of these things. Go to the upper levels. Listen. Everyone knows that a happy work environment needs a place where you can sit back and enjoy something tasty. I'm Joey Drew. And you're standing in our grand, expensive new employee break room. My company family always deserves the best. By partnering with Briar Label and Tasty Bens, I'm able to provide the most delicious treats at a very cheap cost to our workers. Pull up a chair and chow down, my friends. Hmm, he sounds like he's trying to be nice, but... Hmm. I mean, the ingredients... Not the ingredients, but the food doesn't sound that bad. If I'm being frank. Cheese sandwich. Still don't know what sprouts are. Bacon soup. It could probably miss. And maybe hit. And I know this is going to be a slap. Because the, the imagery I saw from Google. Allow me some steak and potatoes and greens. Uh, greens I can probably dodge. But the potatoes. With the meats. Oh yeah. No that sounds delish. And I saw some donuts. So they definitely have some sweets in the mix. Oh, right. We haven't went this path. Mr. Charlie. And not the chocolate factory. Different kind of Charlie. Or, or wait, is this Charlie? Oh, I'm so confused. You guys look the same. Where's the... Oh, wait. This one has a hairline. This one's his hairline is receding. It's, it's, he's, he's bald. Not not quite fully bald, but it's, it's getting there. Uh, never mind. Two different people, probably. Dang it. There's something really important. I have to put that on my, um, you know, a mental note. Don't forget. Kind of thing. Lounge animation debt. Joey and work. Trust in Joey. Never. Never. By the way, always search for, the gen for, the, for these gents' things. The Ink Demon will eat that soup like Popeyes and spinach. I will pay good money to see that. <laughs> All he does is smile. Come on, Bendy. Go get some food inside of you. You need that energy. Joey might be a bastard, but, he, but hey, at least he gives employees the best foods. I guess. But he's still a dick. Main studio. Okay, now we're cooking. How do we, uh... Of course. We open. Oh, wait. That does not look good. Someone did that. Somebody with claws. See? They hate Alice? No, you're under my enemies list, bro. We're gonna have to fight. <laughs> you don't hate Alice. Uh, Boris too, but that's... Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Animation Alley. All your tour groups with tickets, please keep to the left side of the studio hallway so that our talented team or of artists may make their magic without interruption. Thank you. So they can watch you draw. That's cool. <laughs> I'll be like, you want to see something really cool? I'll be bendy on a time machine that's shaped like a car, like Back to the Future. 
with some nice specs, you know, those nice wheels with some cool rad glasses. <laughs> it'll be like kind of cliche. It'll be like he look like he stopped from the 90s, even though this era's in the 70s. Hey, Bendy. And lots of stuff. Give me those slugs. Not sure what to do with it, but I feel like it might be important later on. Management has come up with a new way to reward us employees instead of paying us out of bonuses over time. Oh, wait, really? <laughs> this better be good because, you know, more money is always better. Let's see. They say uh, instead of paying up, paying out bonuses over time, they started handing out these little tokens that you can spend in company vending machines. Instead of extra money in bonuses. How's that any different? Besides that, these tokens ain't got value of any kind. Obviously, a lot of people didn't like the idea. Yeah, that's all stupid. That sounds like a ripoff. So you're saying instead of getting extra more money as a bonus, we're giving they're giving us tokens that have no value most likely in the outside world. No, give me more money. <laughs> if I want something from the vending machines, I'll use it for my check. Or you know what I mean? What what why? If I go outside with these Chuck E. Cheese tokens, I can't buy myself a Coca-Cola with this. A coffee, a donut, a cheeseburger. No. They're going to tell me to scram. Call the police. That's a ripoff. Yeah, they have the right to be pissed. But the best part of the, uh, about the whole thing is that within a week, someone figured out how to make fake tokens that fool the vending machines. We started calling the fake ones slugs. Now... I can't remember the last time I seen a real token around here. Them slugs are everywhere. Probably costing the studio a ton of money and snacks alone. Hudson Doyle. Okay. They have found a way to break the system by using these slugs to get like infinite snacks. Oh, but yeah. So, I guess I can do the same, right? Eat chocolate nuts. No. I don't think I will. And there's more. More batteries, more slugs. Take five to stay alive. Ooh, that, that sounds kind of questionable. Yeah, you guys need to rework on the on the warding. But more than ten, unemployed again. <laughs> what if I decide to go for nine minutes? Nine minutes. I will still be employed, but maybe I'll, I'll maybe I'll slap on the wrist, but come on man. 10 to be unemployed, but 9? Come on. <laughs> that's That sounds awful. Truly. I'm going to say it again. She said she had to do like 800 something more frames of Bendy. <sighs> no, bro. You need more than just coffee. You need you need some, some backup. I can't do 800 frames. Uh, nah, nah. Impossible. So much goodies. Can't seem to pick up that item though. Okay, we got that. But the game wants me to go this way. So it has like the ship of Bendy's head. Also, I got to go now, so bye. Oh, no more, Pyro. Uh, Pyro, you take it easy, bro. Have yourself a good one. Um, with the slugs, we can use it on auto machine that opens and has lots of foods. We can see how much slugs we have in the pause menu right now in the corner. We have 14, 3, 6, and 2, which is okay. It's a good start. I'll, I'll definitely keep stacking as much as I can see. Because if I see something, I'll pick it up. Locked again? This is getting old. Break the lock. Lore. Let me just pause it. Read the text. The inspiration, Nathan Arch, which is the the guy from the bigger picture from the office. I'm ready for something different in my career. I've built steel companies from the ground up, dabbled in petroleum, even tried political office once. That Nathan Arch, they used to say, he's got the magic touch. But I'm hungry for a bit of fun, I think. Something both the masses and I can enjoy. My son suggested movies. Open a studio. Now I love a good film as much as anyone, but the magic of animation. Now there's something special. 
My old friend Joey knew the thrills of bringing characters to life. Rest his soul. Maybe with a bit of elbow grease and a small cash investment, I can resurrect the past. Hmm. There it is. So that's how it came to be. You know, I was going to say, you can also invest in the food industry. You know, maybe uh, a, a lovely place called McDonald's. Uh, maybe okay, maybe not McDonald's because they probably already have something like that. But you know, a burger joint or fast food in general, because you know people gotta eat. That's one way to make money. But if we require some sort of tool to break through the lock, it's only a matter of time before I actually find it. Gent car required. The safe and sound gent. Hey, Bendy. He's everywhere. Oh my god, what he the hell? Like he's having a bad day. Demon follower. He got stabbed. No, he got crucified. She just said it so casually. She's not like, oh my god. How could they do such a thing? No, she's just like, I seen this back in my office. Nothing new. This is what happens when you don't do your work on time. You get crucified on the, on the walls. There's just a regular Monday. And also, there's a new power upgrade right there, which I've noticed. He can make a hot dog stand. See, there's a good idea right there, too. A good old hot dog stand. With some nice cold beverages to go with your hot meals. Easy money. I mean, obviously, it's going to be some hard work. Maybe not too easy, but if you do it right, you'll be fine. But then again, he was looking for fun. I don't know if him selling food is considered fun. Like, if I did it, I, I, me selling food, that would be super dope. Super cool. It will make my day. It makes people day. Like, making them happy because they got a nice treat. So, to me, that's fun. For Nathan, maybe, I don't know. Maybe, yeah. Maybe not so much for him. I, I'm just going to assume. But anyways... Not a bad idea. Hot dog stand. It says go find something to break the lock with. Perhaps this door. Ah, it seems to be locked. <laughs> Open? I wish. Hmm. Safety instructions. Nothing there. If I was a tool, where would I be placed? It kind of doesn't really help that it's super dark, if I'm being honest. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, the spooter. Wait, this is the cafeteria. Maybe I should go back. Yeah, let's go back. Luckily for me... Most things just glow yellow, like that, so it's got to be here somewhere. There's a chair. Where are you, you precious ranch destroyer? Not ranch destroyer, but you know, the ch chips? Tasty Eats, original chips. No, thank you. What the hell? Wait, what does that say? Presets? Resets? Oh, peak. We can peek in this game? Oh, that is so neat. I think I found it. So I think it's over here. This really Audrey, stands out. It's Alice. Can you Alice! Me? Yes! Oh. Yes! Hello? Audrey? Oh, I'm so glad you're all right. Uh, Alice, I think you and I have very different definitions of all right. Where are you? Animation department entrance? But it's locked up tight. Good. That means you're heading up. Look for anything you can use to break in. Maybe there's a gent pipe nearby. What was that? There's something in here. Audrey, find that gent pipe. Now. Find the gent pipe. I don't know what that even is. But something's definitely here. Oh! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah that, was, that was definitely not a good thing. That was like a spider? The spider guy? Also, the Kid Lavori song you're trying to think of is Stay. Oh, yeah, 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 with Justin Bieber. Great, great guy. Well, not that I know him personally, but he looks like a great guy. And his music is outstanding. As a matter of fact, he's in Fortnite as well. I got his awesome song. Now, where is the gent pipe? No, it should be over here. It should be over here because this is where the action happened. So I talked to Alice. Spider tried to <laughs> scare the crap out of me. So it must be getting warmer. Hmm. I wonder. Hey, Bendy, I can see you. What if I can just move these barrels? I mean, I, it's like right there. I could just like push this to the side and just squeeze in. Bro, you use gen pipe in chapter 3, 4, and 5. And saw a gen pipe stab in a guy. Gent pipe. Oh, it's over here. Oh no. There's the gent pipe. That? Way too dark in there. Need to get the lights working first. Let me turn restore power to the Itrium supply. Oh, the that's that the ranch. That's what I call it. The ranch. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. I thought it was something new. It has a name. That is not the ranch, it's actually the gen pipe. Okay, okay. Yeah, then yeah, you're right, you're right. I did use that from chapter one. Not chapter well, not chapter one, but the um, three to five. But the previous game. I wish I could play Fortnite. Why you can't? Bro, it's free. <laughs> Who's speaking? If I find you, I'm gonna rip your face off. That sounds awful. The best way to avoid trouble is not to be seen. Remain crouched to stay low and keep your footsteps from being heard. Watch your enemies carefully so you may pass through safely. If something detects you, find a place to hide or get away fast. Does he really tear my face away? Come on, you want to dare do that to a lady? It's so barbaric. He's all squishy. The noises. Nice. Too easy. Anything worth picking up? Crackers, that is food, which we do not need. Alright, let's go. Hey, Bandy. Missing a fuse. Let's see if I can find one. Oh boy. Find the fuse. Those are always fun. It says Atrium Supply. Atrium? Can't be that far. Your controller broke? That's why you can't play Fortnite? Oof. It's already here. How did it broke? Did you dropped it? Hey, Bendy. Was it controller rage? See, for me, I, I got two controllers when I got this console. The first one it came with, the second one I bought it separately in case I want to like switch out when I'm in the when I'm in the zone. Because I play those long gamer hours. It's like, ah, oh, hold that thought, actually. Jesus, no chill over here. So yeah, when I play like games that I'm really like in the zone, I'm like, oh no, I'm running out of power. I switch controllers and then the other one recharges while I play, and I'm like in this nice little loop. What was that? Is anyone out there? No. It's just you, dude. And nobody else. And there's my hiding spot, so that's good to have. Oh, snap. Jesus. Oh, dude, I wish I could attack him. It'll make life so much easier. I'll hit him with the with the plushie or something. What was that last part? Alright. 
beard. What? Oh, oh, you're right, right, right. Ants, ant spider frog thing. <laughs> you think you heard me? Also, I woke up one day and it won't work. Turn on? No, it won't turn on. Damn. I'm sorry to hear that, man. What in the world? How did that even came to be? Maybe something happened to the battery or something. By the way, if you crush in this game, the NPCs become like 70% blind and deaf. Good call. Maybe I should do that. No running, just ducking. Square? Huh? Game. What's going on, bro? It says, oh, <laughs> find the fuse, genius. Find the fuse and then find a way to get the gen pipe. Find something to break with. Get to the upper levels. All right, so basically find the fuse. I was, I saw this, I was like, maybe this is where I have to go, but apparently not. At least not right now. There's some nice little donuts. I think it's just all about the atrium room. Another Squidward. I think if I'm on next destination, it's this way. But I need Squidward to get out the way. That explains why this is here. I don't believe in you. Leave me alone. Oh, there's a piece of meat. Oh, nice. A uh, nice consumable. This isn't happening. This isn't happening. I tried to tell them he was up to something. I tried to tell them. Next person I see, I'm gonna rip them apart. Just wait and see. God, why is everyone so violent? The script didn't activate though, too. The cutscene got bugged to send someone attacked you. And the instructor attacked you. Also, I missed a cutscene. Damn it. Unlucky. Please don't eat my donuts. They're my favorites. How do we gonna do this? He's just he's just going in circles. The frick? Okay, if he doesn't move, I'm going to have to make a run for it. Oh, no, no, crouch first and then run for it if I, if I get compromised. Looks like he's going back to the back, perhaps? Yeah, that's just how it works. You find me, you run the other direction. Because of science. <laughs> You still okay? He's gonna go left. He goes left and he goes that way. I'm gonna go here. Hey, Professor Douchebag, hurry up! There's a thing I need to get from this room. Oh my god! 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 I am invincible. I am not here. Golly, so freaky. Wilson knows our purpose. What is it? What is it? He is honestly blind. <laughs> Oh my god, you're so blind, dude. I'm like right here. There we go, nice and steady. There we go. And we get up. Huge. Stuff, stuff. Birthday cake? What well, is this? Happy birthday to me. 
Oh, face the fuse box. Oh, crouch, 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 crouch. Anything else before we... I'm not sure what the hell. Can we get what we need? We just gotta dip. Don't cry for me. I wanna die. Oh my god. He needs a hug. But I'm still baffled it was inside of the cake. Oh. Well, this is awkward. I just go <laughs> maybe over here. Oh my god. Literally the worst. I got this. I still got this. Yeah, I, yeah, I figure he's gonna do that. There we go. All power to my master plan. Goes to his little corner. Yes, finally I got what I needed. And then we can get our upgrade in that um gent pipe as well. Bro, even if you move while crouching, he's still really blind and deaf. Dude, crouching is so strong in this game, and I love it. Just gotta make sure to use it when needed. Like maybe right now. Oh yeah, this is totally yours. And no one else's. What the hell does he have? Is it what I think it is? The thing I need? It's like a piece. Oh! What the Oh shoot. Wait, what can I hide? Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Wow. For those who are wondering, I saw a locker and I thought I can squeeze in, and boy was I wrong. That did not <laughs> that did not work. Also, if you walk, he will hear you move, and if you run, SVN more. Bro, even if you move while crouching, he's still really blind and deaf. Of course. I am crouching. I am crouching. I wish not to be attacked anymore, please. I just want to go to the other side. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Just a little bit more, and... Yes! Has this always been here? Huh. Nice. Lights are on. Time to get that gent pipe. It's still closed. Right, the lights are on, which means we can access the doors. 40% blind? Hey, blind is still blind. Where is the beautiful door? Oh, actually, let me get these pieces. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. I'm just trying to move forward. R really, I just want to move forward, but this guy's not making it easy. Wow. Ah. Indeed. Oh. Lore. Pause. Crouch. Get stuff. So what do we have for now? Hiding treasures K. Lee. Does not ring a bell. At the end of every crumbling empire, you gotta hide the treasures. Mr. Cohen brought me in to catalog and secure some of Joey Drew's more special assets in places no one will ever find them. <laughs> sure, that sounds completely legal, right? Anyway, I'll be leaving some clues around so we can find them later. Just remember, this nonsense wasn't my idea. So, here's my first little hint. 
I finally found a use for those silly motivational posters here in the atrium offices. They're sure to make quite an impact. Mm. Oh God, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> I see. We have to get physical with these posters, eh? And now with our new item, I can I can see I'm putting the two to two together. We have to use our new toy. Let me just actually hold on, let me save just in case. So I start to hide some of his stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, he's coming back. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Yours. By the way, the lost ones, these ink people can't open doors, so you you can close the door and they can't get to you. Oh dude. Oh that wait, can I can I still close the door? Let's see if I can do that right now. Oh dude, yes. Oh dude. Oh no 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 no. Yes. Most excellence. Yes, yes, yes. Your weaknesses. Doors. Even though you guys are ink. Because ink, you can just what? Go under or something? Hmm. What? Also, I, I've been, I, I didn't say this out loud, but what are these things on the floor? Flower plants? That seems out of the... Something out of the ordinary. Can I have a waffle? No. <laughs> I have no waffles to share. <gasps> ah! I found it. And the upgrade, if it... It's not an upgrade. Never mind. That's disappointing. The dark puddles are calling. Whatever that means. Found some new stuff. Demon follower. Take. At least now I can defend myself. Indeed. Armed and ready. A weapon of many uses. You're all in one tool for surviving many dangers. The gen pipe has many useful functions and upgrades once you find the right parts and schematics. To use, press R2 to attack enemies and break objects. See, why couldn't this do... Why can I use this back in the part one? It, for the part one, it was just used as a whack machine. Just whack your enemies. But now I can... um, um, What's it called? Build stuff with it? It has other functions? That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Is there anything else? Oh, wow. That has some power. Now, where are them posters at? Because <laughs> we can... Oh, hold that thought. We're playing with fire. No questions about it. First, Gent comes in here and puts thick, heavy pipes over everyone's head. Must wait a ton. Then Joey opens up the place for tours to the general public. Are we really thinking this through? For Pete's sake, Sammy's music department is constantly flooded. And while I was giving our tour last week, we almost lost a whole dang wall when a valve blew out. Stupid tour groups applauded, thinking it was part of the show. <laughs> no, people, this is not part of the show. Please stand back. That might collapse even further. For your safety, stand the hell back. And people are like, yeah, oh my god, that's amazing. I've been to many tours in, in, in areas, but like this, I've never seen anything. It feels almost so real. Your life is in danger, lady. Move. Or you'll become part of the ground with all these debris falling from the walls. I know Joey's looking for, for no, I know Joey's looking to drum up some cash lately. But this, this is just asking for a disaster to strike. One good, th one good accident and there's going to be a landslide of trouble. Hudson Doyle. Yeah. Lawsuits. I'm gonna rip you okay. Oh, shit. Damn. I didn't think he was that weak. He's okay, guys. He's just sleeping with his arm up. Press score to loot. Oh, my God. I killed him now. I, if I knew that was gonna happen, I would not have done that, dude. I swear. And, yep, he is done, so. <sighs> I am so sorry. He must, he, he was an asshole, but probably for good reason. But I didn't mean to kill him. Hopefully, he comes back and spawns into another location and be like, was that a dream? 
and I'll be like from a distance, yes, it was a dream. Hey, new guy, uh, not the one who whacked you in the head with this ranch, promise. Yeah, friends, friends, not enemies, because I already have, uh, at least, uh, uh, thankfully I have two allies, hopefully, with Boris, and then with Miss Alice. And if that ink guy does come back, hopefully he's like, you know, maybe nicer this time, if, if he isn't dead. Ah, <laughs> yeah, he, Boris is like, no, nah, bro, you killed him. He's not coming back. He's with, he's in the ink heavens. But, uh, yeah, that's un quite unfortunate. Also, this will be the main and only weapon. What? This is the only one weapon I get to use? No Tommy gun? Man. After getting all these nice mechanics and some new visuals and audio and new character, they're like, nah, we're going to stick to the one item. The ranch. The one and all. That's all you need, buddy. You don't need no Tommy gun. Nothing else. Do we... No axe? The axe from, from the first Bendy and the Ink Machine? No? The bent Because the, the, the axe was quite nice. It cuts through wood. Well, that's that, I guess. Uh, well, anywho. I think I'll pause it for here for now. Since we already hit the two-hour mark. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the gameplay. Uh, first, um, impressions of this game. I dig it. I really like it. A uh, new antagonist, Mr. Wilson. Benny's destroyed, quote unquote, but he's definitely back because of the warning of Miss Alice. So, yeah. So we're there's more to this, and and the, there's they're unveiling some information that that will definitely explain what's going to go on as I progress. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. So for now, I just got teasers and bits of information about Mr. Joey Drew and his kindness. See, there we go again kindness quote unquote with the foods and stuff and some of his messages on the posters i think he wrote the posters you know take five to stay alive take 10 and be unemployed or something like that but yeah uh i just wanted a waffle bro i can't help you well uh, even if i had a waffle what i'm gonna do with mail it to you by the time you get it it's gonna be all deteriorated and moldy i'm doing you a favor of not getting you a waffle how about a crispy high five like an invisible one from a distance like I don't I don't yeah just pretend you're getting a high five from me from over here see there way better than a waffle read my fourth message um by the way the lost ones these ink people can't open doors so you close the door they can't get to you as well as the NPCs can't hear no wait NPCs can hear you by accident the locker when you're closing it it does make a loud sound that explains a lot because when I exit through the toilet he just quickly 180 and tried to kill me, but I'll keep that in mind. Hopefully, I don't forget. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Skeleton, with the information, man. I appreciate that. It really does help. <laughs> NPCs are blind. Neku, crouch. You be good. And um, be careful with your noises, because you do make noises when you escape from the hiding spots. But just to finish what I was saying about the impression of the game, I really dig it. It's a breath of fresh new air, playing as a new character, and then trying to see what we can unravel all the mysteries of this ink machine. Well said, more about Joey Drew and um, Alice and Boris. I think that we're going to get some more some more lore from those two. Now that we get to see them early in the beginning, because in the first game it took us like, what, mid to near the end of the game just to see those two? Or at least Alice. And Boris was a little bit early, but yeah. Can't, can't wait to see how that plays out. And, uh, yeah, and then one of y'all mentioned about Bendy the Ink Machine's next game around April, what, the... So, sometime in this month, so, uh, yeah, so much so much to catch up on, man. I gotta, I gotta hurry up and finish these games so I can um, play them, enjoy them, catch on the lore, and see what happens next. Oh, no, no, you meant to say third previous message? Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, let's see. Which one was that one again? It was... If you walk, he will hear you more. And if you run, this is SVN more. Or was it this one? Bro, If even if you move while crouching, he's definitely gonna... He's definitely blind and deaf. I, it's hard to tell which one you said. You said it was the fourth one, but... You meant to say third one. But, nonetheless, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the information. And uh, definitely look out for more Bendy in the Dark Revival, not the Ink Machine. 
of gameplay for the continuation. But anywho, that's it. You gotta go. Take it easy, guys. And as always, every single time, have yourselves a real good one from yours truly.